The following are five elements necessary for compelling science fiction. Number one, do the homework necessary for plausibility. Though we often use technologies such as faster than light travel, and I'm guilty, there is so much real world innovation out there to mine. The best science fiction will extrapolate today's research with the many tangential directions it has to offer. One example from my book, Saul is Not Lost, are electromechanical skeletons. There's a lot of ongoing research and development toward providing these structures as an aid for those with impaired mobility. But in my story, they're used to provide resistance in low gravity or added strength in high gravity, and in one case, a portable jail cell. Number two, challenge ideas or paradigms we take for granted. For example, my books question the nature and legitimacy of authority. On the Mars frontier, there is no government and the people there don't want one. They demonstrate how interaction through voluntary contract serves them better than the arbitrary force of the state. In essence, I provide demonstrations of the true meaning of the word anarchy, meaning no rulers. Contrary to popular belief, anarchy is not the same as no order. Number three, make the characters three-dimensional. They should not be straight-laced heroes or sociopathic villains. They'll be believable by having inner or interpersonal conflicts. Don't let this overshadow the main themes, but rather add flavor in ways that most people can relate to. In my book, The Serendipity Factor, one of the main characters goes into labor as they are exploring a planet beyond our solar system. Her friend decides to distract her from the pain by explaining her desired project to give Mars an artificial magnetosphere. This is an unreal situation with real human comfort. Number four, add emotion. Real emotion often helps to make a point. Spoiler alert here for my book, For the Ages. Alien artifacts are found on Earth, which are extremely ancient. They are not inanimate objects, but sophisticated devices. Prized and existing for millennia, they pass from one faction to another. They are witnesses to history in sound and video. One tablet begins playing a battle between Romans and Egyptians, taking place more than 20 centuries earlier. As archaeologists watch, men are screaming and dying in full holographic clarity and surround sound. The excitement of the fine and its possibilities fades to sober reflection on what was just experienced. Number five, stay away from magic. Don't resort to technical solutions for pulling the fat of the plot from the fire. This is magic or fantasy and a very lazy way to write. The worst of these crutches is time travel, but then it's perfect for explaining away holes in the plot structure. I do enjoy Star Trek, but the franchise is one of the worst for the techno battle and time travel. Solutions to problems are whipped out mere seconds before a world ending catastrophe for anything from plagues to super alien weapons. Notable movie exceptions are 12 Monkeys, Looper, or Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, simply because they poke fun at time travel as a plot-saving contrivance.